Ulcers are sores that can develop in different parts of the body. Gastric ulcers, or stomach ulcers, develop in the lining of the stomach. They are very common, affecting between 2.4 to 6.1% of the population, one trusted source. Various factors that disrupt the balance your stomach's environment can cause them. The most common is an infection caused by the Helicobacter pylori bacteria, two trusted source. Other common causes include stress, smoking, excess alcohol consumption and the overuse of anti-inflammatory medications, such as aspirin and ibuprofen. Conventional anti-ulcer treatment typically relies on medications that can cause negative side effects like headaches and diarrhea. For this reason, interest in alternative remedies has steadily risen and been fueled by both medical professionals and individuals with ulcers alike. This article lists nine scientifically backed natural ulcer remedies. 1. Cabbage juice Cabbage is a popular natural ulcer remedy. Doctors reportedly used it decades before antibiotics were available to help heal stomach ulcers. It's rich in vitamin C, an antioxidant shown to help prevent and treat H. pylori infections. These infections are the most common cause of stomach ulcers, three trusted source, four trusted source, five trusted source. In fact, several animal studies show that cabbage juice is effective at treating and preventing a wide range of digestive ulcers, including those affecting the stomach, six, seven, eight trusted source. In humans, early studies observed that daily consumption of fresh cabbage juice appeared to help heal stomach ulcers more effectively than the conventional treatment used at the time. In one study, 13 participants suffering from stomach and upper digestive tract ulcers were given around one quart 946 milliliters of fresh cabbage juice throughout the day. On average, these participants' ulcers healed after 7 to 10 days of treatment. This is 3.5 to 6 times faster than the average healing time reported in previous studies in those who followed a conventional treatment, 9 trusted source. In another study, the same quantity of fresh cabbage juice was given to 100 participants with stomach ulcers, most of whom had previously received conventional treatment with no success. 81% were symptom-free within a week, 10 trusted source. However, researchers have yet to identify its exact recovery-promoting compounds, and no recent studies could be identified. Moreover, neither of these early studies had a proper placebo, which makes it difficult to know for certain that the cabbage juice is what produced the effect. 2. Licorice Licorice is a spice native to Asia and the Mediterranean region. It comes from the dried root of the Glyceriza glabra plant and is a popular traditional herbal medicine used to treat many conditions. Some studies report that licorice root may have ulcer-preventing and ulcer-fighting properties. For instance, licorice may stimulate the stomach and intestines to produce more mucus, which helps protect the stomach lining. The extra mucus may also help speed up the healing process and help reduce ulcer-related pain 11 trusted source. Researchers further report that certain compounds found in licorice may prevent the growth of H. pylori. However, studies are generally based on the use of these compounds in supplement form 12 trusted source, 13 trusted source. Thus, it's unclear how much dried licorice root someone would need to consume to experience the same beneficial effects. Dried licorice root should not be confused with licorice-flavored sweets or candy. Licorice candy is unlikely to produce the same effects and is generally very high in sugar. Additionally, some studies report no effect, so using licorice as an ulcer remedy may not work in all cases, 14 trusted source. Licorice may also interfere with certain medications and cause side effects, such as muscle pain or numbness in the extremities. Consider speaking to your healthcare practitioner before increasing the licorice content of your diet. 3. Honey Honey is an antioxidant-rich food linked to a variety of health benefits. These include improved eye health and a reduced risk of heart disease, stroke and even certain types of cancer, 15 trusted source. Honey also appears to prevent the formation and promote the healing of many wounds, including ulcers, 16 trusted source. Moreover, scientists believe that honey's antibacterial properties can help fight H. pylori, one of the most common causes of stomach ulcers, 17 trusted source, 18 trusted source. 
Several animal studies provide support for honey's ability to reduce the risk of developing ulcers, as well as healing time. However, human studies are needed 19, 20 trusted source, 21 trusted source, 22. 4. Garlic Garlic is another food with antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. Animal studies observe that garlic extracts may speed up recovery from ulcers and even reduce the likelihood of them developing in the first place. 6. 23 Trusted Source 24 Trusted Source What's more, lab, animal and human studies all report that garlic extracts may help prevent H. pylori growth, one of the most common causes of ulcers. 25. In a recent study, eating two cloves of raw garlic per day for three days helped significantly reduce bacterial activity in the stomach lining of patients suffering from H. pylori infection 26 trusted source. However, not all studies were able to reproduce these results and more are needed before strong conclusions can be made 27 trusted source. 5. Turmeric Turmeric is a South Asian spice used in many Indian dishes. It's easily recognizable by its rich yellow color. Curcumin, turmeric's active ingredient, has been attributed to medicinal properties. These range from improved blood vessel function to reduced inflammation and heart disease risk. 28 Trusted Source 29 Trusted Source 30 Trusted Source What's more, curcumin's anti-ulcer potential has recently been studied in animals. It appears to have immense therapeutic potential, especially in preventing damage caused by H. pylori infections. It may also help increase mucus secretion, effectively protecting the stomach's lining against irritants 31 Trusted Source. Limited studies have been done in humans. One study gave 25 participants 600 mg of turmeric 5 times per day. Four weeks later, ulcers had healed in 48% of participants. After 12 weeks, 76% of participants were ulcer-free 32 trusted source. In another, individuals who tested positive for H. pylori were given 500 mg of turmeric four times per day. After four weeks of treatment, 63% of participants were ulcer-free. After eight weeks, this amount increased to 87% 33. That said, neither of these studies used a placebo treatment, which makes it difficult to know whether the turmeric is what caused the participants' ulcers to heal. Thus, more research is needed. 6. Mastic Mastic is a resin obtained from the Pistachia lentiscus tree, more commonly known as the mastic tree. Other common names for mastic include Arabic gum, Yemen gum and tears of chaos. The mastic tree generally grows in the Mediterranean region, and its sap can be dried into pieces of brittle translucent resin. When chewed, this resin softens into a white opaque gum with a pine-like flavor. Mastic has long been used in ancient medicine to treat various gut disorders, including stomach ulcers and Crohn's disease 34 trusted source, 35 trusted source. More recently, animal studies report that it may act as a potent natural ulcer remedy 36 trusted source. Additionally, research in 38 participants suffering from ulcers reports that daily consumption of 1 gram of mastic led to a 30% greater reduction in ulcer-related symptoms than the placebo. By the end of the two-week study period, ulcers were healed in 70% of the participants in the mastic group versus only 22% of those in the placebo group 37 trusted source. Mastic appears to have antibacterial activity against H. pylori as well. In one recent study, intake of 350 mg of mastic gum three times a day for 14 days eradicated H. pylori infection 7-15% more effectively than the conventional treatment 38 trusted source. Although this finding has not been universally observed in all studies, long-term mastic consumption is generally considered safe. Thus, it might be worth testing it out for yourself 39 trusted source. Mastic can be found at most health food stores either as a gum or powdered supplement. 7. Chili peppers There's a popular notion among people suffering from ulcers that eating chili peppers too often or in large quantities may cause stomach ulcers. In fact, people suffering from ulcers are often advised to limit their consumption of chili peppers or to avoid them completely. However, recent research shows that these peppers are unlikely to cause ulcers and may actually help get rid of them. 
That's because chili peppers contain capsaicin, an active ingredient that appears to reduce stomach acid production and enhance blood flow to the stomach lining. Both of these factors are thought to help prevent or heal ulcers, 40 trusted source. The capsaicin found in chili peppers may also help increase mucus production, which can coat the stomach lining and protect it from injury, 41 trusted source. Most, although not all, animal studies show beneficial effects. However, few human studies could be found 42, 43 trusted source, 44. Also, note that the animal studies above used capsaicin supplements rather than whole chili peppers. In at least one study, such supplements led to more intense gastric pain in certain individuals, 45. Therefore, it may be best to stick to the whole food and adjust your intake based on your personal tolerance. 8. Aloe vera Aloe vera is a plant widely used in the cosmetic, pharmaceutical and food industries. It is widely known for its antibacterial and skin healing properties. Interestingly, aloe vera may also be an effective remedy against stomach ulcers, 46 trusted source, 47, 48, 49. In one study, aloe vera consumption significantly reduced the amount of stomach acid produced in rats suffering from ulcers, 50 trusted source. In another study in rats, aloe vera had ulcer healing effects comparable to omeprazole, a common anti-ulcer medication, 47. However, few studies have been done in humans. In one, a concentrated aloe vera drink was used to successfully treat 12 patients with stomach ulcers, 51 trusted source. In another study, taking antibiotics with 1.4 mg pound 3 mg per kilogram of aloe vera daily for 6 weeks was as effective as the conventional treatment at healing ulcers and reducing H. pylori levels, 52. Aloe vera intake is considered generally safe and the above studies show some promising results. However, more studies in humans are needed. 9. Probiotics Probiotics are live microorganisms that offer an array of health effects. Their benefits range from improving the health of your mind to the health of your gut, including its ability to prevent and fight ulcers. Although the way this works is still being investigated, probiotics seem to stimulate the production of mucus, which protects the stomach lining by coating it. They may also promote the formation of new blood vessels, which eases transport of healing compounds to the site of the ulcer and speeds up the healing process, too trusted source. Interestingly, probiotics may play a direct role in preventing H. pylori infections, 53 trusted source. Moreover, these beneficial bacteria appear to enhance conventional treatment efficiency by around 150%, all while reducing diarrhea and other antibiotic-related side effects by up to 47%, 53 trusted source, 54 trusted source, 55 trusted source. The dose required for maximum benefits is still being researched. That said, most of the studies above report benefits after taking 200 million to 2 billion colony forming units CFU, for 2 to 16 weeks 53 trusted source. Probiotic rich foods tend to provide less colony forming units per portion than supplements, but they are worth adding to your diet nonetheless. Foods to avoid just like some foods can help prevent ulcers from forming or help them heal faster, some have the exact opposite effect. Those trying to heal their stomach ulcers or avoid developing them should consider minimizing their intake of the following foods, 56 trusted source. Milk, although once recommended to help reduce stomach acidity and relieve pain, new research shows milk increases the secretion of stomach acid and should be avoided by those with ulcers, 56 trusted source. Alcohol, alcohol consumption can cause damage to the stomach and digestive tract, increasing the likelihood of ulcers, 57 trusted source, 58 trusted source. Coffee and soft drinks, coffee and soft drinks, even if they're decaf, can increase production of stomach acid, which can irritate the stomach lining, 59 trusted source. Spicy and fatty foods, extremely spicy or fatty foods can create feelings of irritation in some people. Chili peppers are an exception, based on personal tolerance, 60. In addition to avoiding the foods above, consuming small meals at regular times, snacking throughout the day, eating slowly and chewing your food well can help reduce pain and promote healing, 60. Moreover, avoiding smoking and reducing stress are two additional useful anti-ulcer strategies.